baby, since the day you came into my life, you made me realize that we were born to fly. You showed me every day new possibility. You proved my fantasy that love could really be. Let's go to a place only lovers go. To a spot that we've never known. To the top of the clouds we float. Oh. 
Dear family and friends, we are gathered here today in the presence of God to celebrate the union of Kenan, Pierre, and Anya Brown. This holy relationship was ordained by God and is to be honored among all people. It is to be entered joyfully, lovingly, and reverently. Who presents Anya to marry Kenan? In the scripture, Mark chapter 10, verses 7 through 9, when talking about the union of marriage, it says, For this reason, a man shall be united with his wife, so that the two shall be as one. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Canaan. Will you honor Anya as your wife? And in all your life together, will you be loving, respectful, considerate, and caring? Answer, I will. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. <laughs> Anya, will you honor Kenan as your husband? And in all your life together, will you be loving, respectful, considerate, and caring? I will. We will now take time to listen to the scripture reading that will be read to us by Reverend Dr. Marie Joseph. The reading is in Ephesians chapter five, verses 22. <clears throat> Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives. Christ, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might be sanctified and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. <coughs> so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. And he who loves his wife loves himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, even as the Lord the church, for we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, that every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she weapons her husband. Amen. 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 I never believed that it was a coincidence that the first miracle that Jesus performed was at a wedding. I think that Jesus knew early on that two people could not exist and live successfully together without a little bit of God in the mix. The story goes that at the wedding, the sweet wine ran out. And I'm sure that some of you know all too well that at a party, it's a problem when the drinks run out. No one knew what to do, but because someone turned to Jesus, he was able to take an embarrassing, disastrous situation. He took the bland water that was left and said, go ahead and keep the party going. 
and turned it into wine that I believe was much sweeter and better than they had when they started. Kenan and Anya, the same goes for you and your new lives together. When the friends go home, when the dress is hanging up, when the tuxes and the suits are returned, you will be able to drink the sweet wine of marriage and of love. But if things ever get rough and the wine runs out, somebody remember to turn to Jesus. And as long as Jesus is there, you can live and love, hold and cherish, respect and protect, and keep the party going. Your commitment to each other on this day and the love that you have for the other was enough to make the ground shake. <laughs> just, just run with that. If anybody asks, that's, that's what happened. Remember four things. Remember to keep each other as priorities supporting one another, never ignoring one another, and being the foundation for each other, especially through tough times. Never take each other for granted, and never take the time you have with each other for granted. Number two, remember to always stay joined together, share in quality time and acts of service, always remain loyal and trustworthy, giving and receiving, and adjusting and compromising. Remember, you're always better together. And if you ever wanted to be 100% comfortable in life, then you probably should be 100% single. Mm -hmm. Number three, remember to remain intimate and close. Use your affection and your expressions. And number four, remember to always be exposed with one another and communicate. And as a bonus, remember that you don't always have to be right. You just have to be together. As you fulfill the commitment you make here, your life will be enriched with joy, satisfaction, and peace. In all events of life, hold fast to the vision and the promise of this very sacred moment. The bride and groom have decided that they wanted to do their own vows at this time. And I'm pausing so he can gather himself. At this time, we're going to hear from our groom. Four years ago on this day, I slid into your DMs. <laughs> That's what happened. I slid into your DMs asking for an opportunity, a moment to see if I could just get to know you and understand you for who you were. I tried seven years prior to that, and obviously I was way too arrogant at the time. Absolutely. So that's, that's, that's fine. Um, I would have never imagined that I'd be standing here four years later in front of you um, getting married. You found a man who was completely broken. And glued me back together with all of my trauma, all of my heartbreak. You took time, you took time to piece me back together with no hesitation. As I look back on our relationship, I've never had to question your love for me. 11 months I was gone at different times. We've been apart for 11 months through four years and you still chose when you didn't have to. In the words of Pastor Huff, Love is not an action. Oh, sorry. Love is not a feeling, but it's an action. And you still choose me. I have never questioned how you feel about me. Anya, you are the definition of agape love. You put others before yourself, and you continuously put me before you. As I stand here before you, I know that my God is real because I see it daily. He's heard my prayers, he's heard my tears. And he said, you know what, my son? Enough is enough, I got you. And that's when I met you. I promise to cherish and support you, to be your partner in all things, to laugh with you in times of joy and to stand by you in times of sorrow. I vow to respect and honor our differences and to grow with you as we journey through life together. I promise to love you for
for who you are and the person you have yet to become. I promise to never let any challenges come between you and I. I vow to honor you and to carry forward the legacy of resilience and love with each step we take together. I promise to walk beside you, to support you, and to nourish our bond. With all my heart, I take you as my partner for life. I vow to forsake all others, love you unconditionally, to encourage and inspire you, and to be your confidant and your, cons and your constant companion. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge to be patient and understanding, to be faithful and true, and to always strive to make our relationship stronger. Today, I give you a hand. I give you my hand, my heart, my love. I vow to respect you as an equal, to listen to you with an open heart, and to always be honest and transparent in our communication. Together, we will create a life filled with love, laughter, and endless adventures. With this ring, I promise to honor our past, to cherish our present, and to dream towards our future. I vow to be your partner in building a legacy of love, joy, rooted in the beauty of black love. In, this, in the presence of our family, our friends, and with, the God, with God's divine blessing, I promise to be faithful, devoted, and, oh sorry, devoted, loving husband, and friend until God calls me from this earth. I choose to always love you. I choose to always be with you. <sighs> Loving you has been easy, and I would do it a thousand times over if I had to. Oh, go ahead. Do it down. <laughs> a thousand times over if I had to. Everything that I've gone through in life has prepared me for this moment, and I would not trade any of it in the world. I wouldn't. I love you. to us because four years ago to this date, Keena slid in my DMs and the rest was history. You have been my protector, my warmth, my headache, my love, and my best friend. And for that, I am truly grateful. <laughs> you always say God heard your prayers when he sent you me, and I feel the same way. I needed patience, I needed laughter, I needed a partner, I needed someone to help me build my confidence, and you did just that. As we continue to figure this out, create our own path, and love on each other, I pray that God covers us as we cover each other. I pray that we always keep God first. I pray we are always each other's home, where we can always be ourselves with love and with safety. No storm, no problem, no earthquake can come between us, and I love you forever and ever. That was all. You did all. <laughs> she said he won. <laughs> Can I have the ring? These rings are made of precious metal. They have been heated under the fire, and all impurities have been removed. It's a lot like love. It looks beyond our faults, and it sees the value. These rings are circular. There's no beginning, and there's no end. Just like love, it continues on and on when you do it right. Although these rings are tough, they still need to be able to handle the elements of life. They still need to be cared for in order for them to be maintained and for their value to continually be seen. Just like love, it's tough, 
but it still has to be maintained to retain its value. Finally, these rings are expensive because love ain't cheap. <laughs> Let us pray. Oh God, we ask your blessing on these rings that they may be contact symbols of Kenan's and Anya's unending love and commitment. Amen. Amen. Anya, can you take his ring and place it on his finger? Kenan, repeat after me. In receiving this ring. In receiving this ring. The symbol of our abiding love. The symbol of our abiding love. I accept you as my wife. I accept you as my wife. Now and forever. Now and forever. Anya, repeat after me. In receiving this ring. In receiving this ring. The symbol of our abiding love. The symbol of our abiding love. I accept you as my husband. I accept you as my husband. Now and forever. Now and forever. <laughs> Kenan and Anya, your commitment today was not just to each other, but your commitment was also to God. You have promised God that you will be a vehicle and a vessel of God's love coming through you to each other. Why? Because she deserves it and because he deserves it. You rented the room, you put on the tux, you put on the dress, you exchanged vows, you exchanged rings, and I know that everybody wants to get on to the party. But before we do that, I have to say one really important thing. I am happy and honored to say I now pronounce you husband and wife. We're going to dismiss shortly. However, there's two things that are left. One is we want to explain the jumping of the broom. Jumping the broom has become one of the most popular uh, African traditions at weddings that are traditional and those, uh, those that are traditional in black American culture and those who link up to the African roots. This broom represents ceremony, uh, the joining of two families. It's showing respect and paying homage to those who came before us and paved the way. We practice it in honor of our ancestors and the beauty of the rich heritage. Broom jumping is a ritual handed down from generation to generation to remind us of a time when our vows were not legally sanctioned. During slavery, our ancestors sought the legitimacy of marriage by jumping over the broom and into the bonds of each other in marriage. For our ancestors, this was a legal and bonding act, connecting them with the heritage of the homeland and giving legitimacy, dignity, and strength to their unions. In their eyes, this union was now sanctioned by the Almighty. They're going to successfully, cleanly, jump over the broom in a moment, probably with some assistance. But before we do that, we do want to give them their blessings. And I'm going to ask that Reverend Dr. Carl E. Joseph come forward and give us our prayer. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of all salvation, and giver of all grace, look with favor upon your son. Kenan and Onia. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of the common life that each may be to the order, a strength in me, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, in their spirit, in your spirit, that they may go in love and peace with you, one another, all the days of their life. Protect them, guide them, preserve them, bless them, so they can be always together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let's stand up for the blessing. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face shine upon thee.
and, the, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen and amen. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Mr. and Mrs. Keenan Pierre. All the things that I would do to you Smack it up, flip it down Weigh it up, break it down Lean it to your side, yeah, and ask you who's your daddy now You gotta even open your eyes, know what you're looking at And I ain't have to open my eyes when I was cooking that Guess it was love at first sight, eye contact Remember the night we first met, I caught a contact Let's see my ride or die, it's us against the world You know we both hustling, so hustling First up, we're going to bring out the bridesmaids. Make some noise for the bridesmaids. To the track, bitch.
get the most, not the less. Uh, trash, get the fuck up on it, dollars in the club. Fuck the game, she gets no love. She be cross country, giving all that she got. A thousand of popper, fully billions off the lot. I smashed up the game when I bought me a bed. Every time we hit the parking lot, we turn heads. I'm on the tube, but the bitch is too scary. Hit the high note, hit the high note. You a fairy.
everyone. Uh, for those, I kind of wrote things down. But for those who don't know me, that's a shame. I am Kia's cousin and best man for tonight. We gotta redo that. You need to make some noise for this man. We gotta redo that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Kia's cousin and I am the best man for tonight. I want to thank uh, Keenan and Anya for giving me this opportunity to spend this day with them or this night with them. And I wanted to thank everyone who came here today. We are all witnesses to a great evening, uh, an awesome ceremony. And we're here to, you know, also hold them accountable for the vows that they gave. Uh, check in on them, you know, pray for them, and be there for them when they need us. For the people who couldn't make it, I'm sure you'll see like highlights on uh, Instagram and YouTube. You all didn't get invited because Keenan and Anya didn't think that your gifts would be good enough. <laughs> Everyone else here, this is an audition to see how good your gifts are going to be for the future. Right? So when they have barbecues and home, home baby showers, God willing. They're going to invite you based off of your gift tonight. So around the bathrooms and the tables, you're going to see that little thing that you put your camera to. Make sure you give a nice little gift. But now let's quickly talk about why we're really here tonight. The most important people in the building. We got TJ and Pure. And we got the bartenders, Vicky, Eileen, Irene, Stevies, and Alex. The most, the most important people tonight. But uh, to the two most important people, I wish you the best. Um, make sure, like we talked about earlier, that you guys support each other, love each other, and respect each other. I'm just gonna give a quick story. I know this is really late and we're trying to go through it, but uh, Keenan was Never athletic growing up, but he thought he was, all right? And he thought he was going to the NFL for sure. He worked so hard, he was telling me, I'm going to the NFL, I'm getting a D1 scholarship, I'm going first round pick in the NFL. He worked so hard at it, but he did make his high school team. He made, he made varsity and he started. that even though he had a dream that was impossible to do, he still worked extremely hard to do it. Keenan also has another dream to be an amazing husband. And he vowed to do that as well. So I know he's gonna work very hard to do it. Even though it's an unattainable because as we all know here, women are never satisfied. <laughs> strong work ethic and characteristic that he has um, is amazing and I know that they talk about baby showers. Okay, sorry. He is um, going to be a great parent and a parent's love is a love like no other. And I have my daughter here but when my first daughter was born, we chose Keenan to be the godfather. She was the, uh, the flower girl this morning. And we know that if something happens to us, Keenan is going to be there. He is going to take care of her, and that I'm not worried about. So I say to Uncle Bill, excuse me, Grandpa Bill and Clara, Daddy Otis, Mom Gail, and all the Brown family, you do not have to worry. Keenan is going to take care of your girl. Enjoy the rest of the night. I'm Big Seal, not the little one. Um, but I am, for those who don't know me, I'm Anya's oldest sister. Um, so I did kind of 
to write mine out. It's kind of different than Kiki's. Um, so to my little sis, where do I start? It seems like just yesterday when we were sitting in the back of Daddy's Mustang singing good old R&B songs, and now I'm witnessing you become your own woman and getting married. I cannot really form into words how proud I am of you in all aspects of life. Today is yet another special day in your life, and I know that it probably won't hit you until the weekend that you's married now. <laughs> but when you do, let it sink in. And Keenan is getting, and when Keenan is getting on your last nerves, remember and reflect on what you said today at the altar, and the reason you are even here in the first place. I know you always say I'm your hero, but you tru truly give me hope every day. You and Keenan are honest, are honestly proof that true black love does exist. And no, it may not be perfect, but it's worth it. Keenan, I have told you this before, but I knew the day I met you that you were something special. Not because you said anything that caught my attention, but because of the simple fact that I met you. I have never met a guy that Anya dated, so to meet you, let me know that you are special to her. Yeah. On her. Okay? <laughs> I love the way that you are attentive to her, the way that you love her, and even when you don't feel like it, you make sure her and Mason are straight. <laughs> it really shows how much you love and care for her. I feel safe knowing that I, I know Sorry. I feel safe knowing I no longer have to protect her when necessary now because you're going to handle it. I pray that God covers your union. I pray that in all times, Kenny, you look to God to help lead. And that on you, you pray for your man, your man, your man, your man, and his guidance. In times of disagreement, it is never you against each other, but you two against the problem. I love you both with all my heart. Congratulations on making it official. And I need me a niece or nephew in the next 12 months. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dr. George Mbobo. I'm Keenan's best friend and best man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and of course the radiant couple, Anya and Keenan Pierre. It's an honor and privilege to stand before you today as Keenan's best man, celebrating this, best, this beautiful union. Keenan and I go way back to those high school days where we tackled life's challenges together, both on and off the football field. From those early years, it was evident that Keenan possessed a rare blend of determination, resilience, and also kindness. Uh, throughout the years, I've witnessed Keenan's remarkable growth. He's faced his fair share of obstacles from the highs of victories to the lows of losses. Losing his sister and father abruptly were unimaginable blows. yet Keenan's strength and character shone through even in the darkest of times. His testament to the power of the human spirit and the importance of cherishing every moment we have with the ones we love. And now as Keenan stands here today, ready to embark on his new chapter, on the, this new chapter of his life with Anya by his side, I couldn't be happier for him. Anya, you brought a light into Keenan's life that shines brighter than ever before. Your love and support are evident to all who know you, and I have no doubt that together you will conquer whatever challenges come your way. So let us raise a glass to Keenan and Anya, two individuals who have overcome adversity, found love in each other's arms. May your journey together be filled with endless joy, laughter, and abundance of love. Cheers to the newlyweds. Big on family, 
and that you fit so cohesively into ours is a testament to how perfect you guys are for each other. Witnessing your love grow has been such a blessing, and I'm so grateful that I've been able to be here and watch as your relationship develops, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you both. I love y'all so big. Congratulations. I'm the oldest of the brothers. Um, um, I'm very happy that Keenan is where he is at. And it took me a minute to kind of accept Anya, only because it was like, ah, right, Keenan, you get your feelings real quick. Jump right in there. Jump right in there. But she made him happy, and that's all I care about. And at the end of the day, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. Your relationship with God at the end of the day. You, Anya, and God. That's all I want you guys to have a relationship with. Anybody, all these other people is great, but it's you, Anya, and God. And at the end of the day, nobody else should know what you guys are going through. Um, and but it took me a minute to just like figure out like sister-in-law, and I don't like that. So welcome to the family, sister. And um, you know I'm here for you at any time. You hit me up. Um, I'm praying for you guys. You, uh, before I cry, but I'm happy for you guys. Like family, you family at this point. You Haitian, you're not Jamaican. You Haitian at this point. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna end it with you know, leave it to God. Say, God got it at, at all points. Always go back to God. Um, and if, if you forget about God, then. God about your relationship as a whole. Um, God is good. God is good. Okay, that is it. Make some noise for the beautiful speeches. Now we are going to. Yeah.
Blackberry because whatever he was drinking, my man was. It's just the fly line song. What? It's just the fly line song. What? Are we living in a dream world? Are your eyes still green, girl? I know you're sick and tired of arguing. But you can't keep it bottled in. Jealousy, we gotta swallow it. Your heart and mind, baby, follow it. Smile, happiness, you can model it. And when you feel opposite, I just want you to know your whole being is beautiful. I'ma do the best I can do. Cause I'm my best when I'm with you. on your bags love I know in the past love has been sort of hard on you but I see the God in you I just want to nurture it though this love may hurt a bit we dealing with this water love you even get my daughter love I want to build a tribe with you protect and provide for you truth is I can't hide from you the pimp in me may have to die with you. To discover me I just want you to put trust in me I kind of laugh when you cussing me The aftermath is you touching me It's destiny that we connected, girl You and I, we can affect the world I'm tired of the fast lane I want you to have my last name Yeah, love Run it's the 